probably should have Juilliard. Definitely should have been. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty amazing. When yeah. I read that, that was the last song. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been really good with clarinet as well. Yeah, that was the uh, soprano sax. Soprano sax. <laughs> no, I remember that one. The song, the song. I'm sorry, what was the name of the last song? Call the Order. 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 Would like to people. So do you usually perform with different people all the time? Yeah. Uh, okay. And even like I have a band that I'm recording with. You know, maybe who I mainly play with, but I play with these guys separately so much in other situations that I love bringing them together too. And they're kind of in and out. We're in and out of each other's bands. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it, it is, but if you know like the fundamentals the how to play, then once you get together, it may be about that. Because you can meet someone, I could go to China right now, and meet somebody who knows how to play jazz, and we could play like, 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 Yeah, like blended really well up there. And even if we can't speak the same language, it's still worth it. What was it, two years ago I did a world collaboration in Dubai and it was seven people who none of us spoke the same language. That's but awesome. we put a whole concert together. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's amazing. I can't even afford to go to Dubai. Gotta be a great musician going to Dubai now. So, Sorry. Um, our first question for you this time was uh, we wanted to ask you like what your first performance was like. Risky. Yeah, your first gig, like uh, whatever you you think, what you think is the most memorable or your most memorable. I don't know why. Um, I felt like my dad actually took me to play for this convention, and he took his keyboard. It was very simple. We played duo for about an hour, but I think I was I was probably twelve. <laughs> 12, 12, 12. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, like if that performance never happened, do you think you would keep, uh, like, have to keep stay, like, sticking with instruments, sticking with, you know, yeah, keep playing? Probably, but that, like, that performance felt very special. Oh, um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, um, was it difficult that, um, like, keeping up with, um, like, Juilliard at such a prestigious school and, like, just, like, your daily activities and just getting through, like, being so, like, pretty much what I'm asking is, like, juggling, um, other obligations in your schoolwork. Yeah, well, at Juilliard, they have the nickname Juilliard for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even in like high school. Yeah, everyone, I I everyone knows Julia. I played the alto saxophone in high school and I never used to practice. I never practiced. Because I think I wasn't as committed to music and I just wanted to do everything else. Was it hard for you to like play and also do other things? But by high school I was pretty directed in what I wanted to do. I wanted to play practice. So I practiced. I think like two hours. And like my freshman sophomore years, I. Like I was brought up in dance and the natural side from the pop and um, I did other things but mainly I was in the jazz band and the concert band and the jazz So you did like stuff like other than music though? Yeah, well, you but you were involved in other things. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but not as much. Yeah, yeah. And then the music was also because I, I made all the original band and all the plays. Whatever, on a, on a day, I 
Yeah. You travel a lot as a musician right now. That's pretty sweet. Oh wow. Yeah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, they pay for airfare and accommodation, and then you get paid. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's a good life. <laughs> Were you? Enjoying it. Were you I mean, sounds like they were strict. Like, they want to do what's best for you, you know, as yeah. parents, I guess. They do. They just want you to be on the right path. Are they happy like, with you, the way your profession is going now? Now that they see that you're successful with jazz? Yeah, they love it. <laughs> Happy ending. Number three. What do you think about the direction of music? There's so much music out there that I don't even consider music. <laughs> like stuff that you yeah. hear in stores when you walk in. <laughs> 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 The one hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Writing stories, putting out records. 
<laughs> I know, right? Switch to you. I mean, you're still enjoying the traveling and everything else. Yeah. I mean, just enjoy it. Yeah. Feels like you're doing what you love. I mean, not a, yeah, not a lot of people get to follow their passion like that. Yeah, that's true. And have like a whole lot of work to do. It's great, but it's also a job like any other job. And I work really hard, you know, for like. At least you like wake up and you're like, hey, at least I know what I'm doing. I like what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your time.